Okay, today we're going to learn about two-point perspective, drawing an outdoor picture. Now, in some ways, this is much easier than doing a one-point perspective picture. I have some examples of what kids did last year and one of a poster I have hanging up there. You do the same thing for outdoor picture. You draw a line in the middle here, straight across. Oops, broken pencil. That's why I have an extra one. Nice straight line here. And what you want to do is you need two points. It's a two-point perspective. You want to put it close to the edge. So I'm going to put a dot here. I'm going to put a dot here. It's about a centimeter, an inch away. And then what you're going to do is you're going to have a spot here as well. And this is where I'm going to have my streak go to. So I'm going to put a dot right here. And I use my ruler. You're using your ruler for all these lines. And I line up the one point here. These are called the vanishing points. We had one vanishing point beforehand. Now we have two vanishing points. One vanishing point here, one vanishing point here. And what is this line called again? The horizontal. Horizon line. You're very close. <coughs> so I'm going to draw the street here to this line. And I'm going to use the ruler again, straight lines. And I'm going to draw the street here as well. Now I'm going to make it. Remember, the street disappears into the horizon. So I'm bringing this down here, and I'm going to draw a line here. And then I'm going to draw another line from this point to this vanishing point here. And this is our street. If you want to, in the middle, you can do dashes for it. So the dashes are going to get longer or shorter the farther away you get. Longer. Shorter. 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 So longer. Shorter, 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 shorter. So they almost become one line. Do the same thing on this, so it's an intersection here. So I do some more lines. Long, shorter, 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 shorter. So, it's all, so it becomes one line. That is the easy part. Now for this picture, what do we have here? We have vertical lines. Vertical lines are straight up and down, right? Right. So all the lines in this picture that are vertical are perfectly straight up and down. Nothing's at an angle. All the horizontal lines are going to be pointing either to the right vanishing point or the left vanishing point. So the building here, I'm going to put a building in the center here, and I'm going to draw three straight lines, parallel vertical lines, <coughs> and the ones on the side are going to be shorter. This is going to be a building here. Now, all the lines that are horizontal for this side of the building, the right side of the building point to which vanishing point? The right vanishing point. The ones on the left point to the left. So I'm going to start here, line it up with the middle line here, and I'm going to draw my lines here. Now, if you want to, you probably should measure this out so you have equal space between each one. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to do this in centimeters. There we go. So the next one I do is in centimeters as well. And I draw it here. Make sure you line up with the vanishing point each time. This dot, you're doing the middle line here, and it's always pointing here. This takes a while, but you want to make sure you use your ruler. And it's very similar if you understand at one point. This is, in some ways, like I said, much easier because you know the direction the lines are pointing. So this is the top of my building here. I'm going to stop. Now, this side points to this side right here. Almost done. It takes a while to do this. It takes a quite a while. And you want to make sure the lines look good. As the lines get closer to the horizon line, do they get steeper or do they get flatter? Flatter. Flatter. Like what happened on your one point perspective building. Now I'm going to show you. Because it's below the horizon line, can you see the top of the building or not? 
Yes, you can, and I'm going to show you how you draw that. It's kind of tricky, and it's going to be a very narrow view. Now I'm going to raise the lines at the top here. Now this right here, this side is going to point to this vanishing point right here. It's going to be really hard to see, and this one here, it's going to be very narrow. So it's going to be very narrow here, goes to the middle, and then this side points over here. It's going to be very narrow as well. You almost don't see the top of the building. Now if I put a building on this side here, we're just going to do a quick one here. I'm going to do it on top. Again, three lines there parallel to each other. And I'm going to measure this out here this time. So we have here line, lines and centimeters. You can do different lengths if you want to. And then I'm going to do another line. You can make big buildings, tall buildings, whatever you want to. Now, this is the left side of the building, so it, where should it point to? Oh, left. The left. Point. It doesn't matter. If I put the building here, if the building's way over here, the left side of the building should always point to the left vanishing point. The right will always point here. Even if the building's here, the right side of the building will still always point here. Now look what happens with the lines. When I do this, you're going to see a difference in the type of lines that you see how steep they are compared to each other where you put the lines at. You're going to be flatter? We'll see. You're going to be flatter. And look, I can erase this right here because this is the horizon line, and I don't need the horizon line. There we go. Keep going. Am I going to see the top of the building with this one? No. Because it is a horizon line. Very good. Now, look at these lines. This is what's going to look interesting here. Start here. Look how steep they are compared to the other ones. Much steeper than the other ones, but still they're going to get they're flatter as they get close to the top here. Now you can decorate this. You can put clouds in, trees in. We don't want just to be a boring city. We want to see signage, uh, other things. If you want, you can do a Chinese city, a ta uh, Taichung and do different signs. You can put local things in here like Balance Tea Shop. I like Balance Tea Shop. They make good milk tea. So, there we go. See the building here? And then I erase it here. And that's your building. At windows, I can draw another line here. For the windows, I can do this. I can do another line here for the windows. So remember, all the vertical lines are perfectly straight up and down. It's the side lines that point to the right vanishing point or the left vanishing point. I can put buildings here as well. Any questions on this? No. The pride comp, you have two sheets here. You finish, you, when you finish your one point perspective indoor and outdoor fixture, then you can start on this. Thank you very much.